Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to show you how to make this really cool ring holder for your phone. So it sets flat on your phone like this and you just flip it up when you want to use it and voila, you've got a phone holder. I know I've done a previous video on the plastic pop sockets, but these are a much better quality. Very nice. This is metal and I love it. It's so sturdy. You can also use it as a, I'm looking at it backwards, as a kickstand for your phone. If you're um, wanting to hold it up like that, if you're watching a movie or something like that, very cool. But I love how this turned out. This is a very, very easy sublimation project, very inexpensive to make and a lot of fun. You can get these for about $3 a piece. I will have a link in the description below the video. Super easy to make. I think these would be great stocking stuffers, great to put your team logo, your school logo, your monogram, match your phone case like I did. Whatever you wanna do, you can make it yours and it's very, very easy. So let's get started. I'm going to be using the SG500 printer. It's a sublimation printer. You must use sublimation printer with sublimation ink in it for this project. This does not work with inkjet printers. And beyond that, I'm gonna be using the text print R paper some heat transfer tape and my craft heat press. Everything's linked in the description below. So let's get started. Here we are at canva.com. I've shown you this software in previous videos, but for those of you who may be new to my channel, I'm going to walk you through it. I really like this software. It is a free software. There is a, a paid version. I have the paid version. It actually gives you a few more options. It gives you more assets, meaning there's more photos, more designs available to you. But the free version works just fine for most projects and you'll be able to um, use that for this particular project. You can still create in the Sawgrass Creative Studio. I also do that quite often, but this is just fun and I like some of the designs that are available in the Canva software. So I, again, I'll link everything in the description below the video. So I'm just going to click on custom size. I'm going to make sure that this is set to inches and I'm just going to type two by two. I only need a little two by two inch square. And then I'm going to go over here and I'm going to click on elements and I'm going to choose under, uh, well, that's under frames. If you scroll down to frames, I'm just going to choose this first little circle and then I'm going to use this little handle on the end and I'm just going to drag it. Now remember, I said the circle is 1.125 inches, so I want to make it slightly bigger. So I'm going to make it 1.3. And that's just going to make sure I have a little bit of extra, they call it a bleed, so that I have edge to edge covering. Now since this image, it's a frame and it has a picture of a, like a faux landscape back there, there's grass and a sky and a cloud, that means I can fill this in with a, with a photo. So I'm just going to go up here in the uh, actually, I'm going to go here and click photos and then I'm going to go up here in the search photos and I'm just going to type pink flower. My phone case has flowers on the back and I just want a pink flower to go in it. So you can scroll through, you know, whatever you want to put on yours. It doesn't have to be a pink flower, but you can put whatever you want. Um, I think this is the one that I'm going to use. So I'm just going to click it and drag it over here and it's going to fill in that circle. Now I want more of those flowers to show. You can see there's several flowers over here to the left of this. So if I just click crop, I can move this over so that I get more flowers in my design. And then I'm going to click done. And that's it. That's all I need to do. So I can name this up here and call it pink flower phone. And then I'm just going to click download. We're going to download it. I'm on a Mac, so you can see right here, it downloads to the bottom tray. So I just click this and then click show in finder. Here it is in the finder and I like to just drag it to the desktop. All right, let's go over to our desktop and our smart folder and I will show you how to get this into the Sawgrass. So here is my desktop. I have my Sawgrass smart folder right here. Here is the design that we just downloaded. All you do is drag it, drop it into that folder. That's going to open up the print manager. Simple as that. So all I have to do here is choose. I have metal chosen, text print our paper. Of course, it's going to mirror it. Print quality is on high. I don't change anything right here and I'm just going to click print. 
So we have everything we need right here. Here is our ring socket. It comes in a little box. This little disc comes inside this little plastic bag. So make sure that you keep track of that. And we have our image. I've got some alcohol. We're going to clean off the surface. I've got a lint free cloth and my phone. So the first thing you want to do is again, you're going to take this little disc out. This is what we're actually going to sublimate. And there is a little clear piece of plastic on there. You want to make sure and remove that before you sublimate. And then I'm just going to wipe this a little bit. I don't think there's anything on it. I didn't touch it, but you just want to make sure just a good practice to be in. I'm just going to spray the cloth and spray this. I'm also going to spray the back of my phone so that this is going to stick really well. And we're going to clean that off. That one more spray. Just gonna make sure that it adheres well. So this disc is a little bit over one inch. Each square on this grid, on this mat, is a one inch square. So you can see it's just a little bit over. It actually measures about a one and an eighth inch circle, which is the equivalent of 1.125 inches. So when I went into Canva and created my circle, as you know, I created it to be 1.3 ish, just to give me a little bit of extra wiggle room so that I have edge to edge coloring. So here's my image. We're going to take the disc. I can pick this up without putting fingerprints all over it. And we're going to put the white side face down. Make sure that you remove that film that's on it. And we're just going to center that into the design or which, however you want, but I wanna make sure that I have color all the way around the edge. I'm going to grab my heat transfer tape and I'm simply going to tape this down so that it does not accidentally move. Oh, oops. there we go. All right. So that is nice and secure on the paper. I don't have to worry about that. All right. So let me flip the camera back up. We're going to go ahead and press this. This is such an easy project, you guys. All right, here we are. So I have the press preheated to 400 degrees for 60 seconds. The timer set on 60 seconds, 400 degrees. That's what's recommended for this little thin piece of metal. Don't make it your pressure too, too tight, but it should be snug because this is very, very thin. So you want to make sure that you are going to get a full press on this. You're going to want to cover your the base of your press with a protective covering. I've got a little piece of butcher paper there. I've got an extra piece of butcher paper, which I'm going to put on top of my design. So I'm going to put this on the press so that the disc is face down and the paper, the back of the paper is facing up. We're just going to place that on the press and I'm going to put another piece of butcher paper right on top of that. That's going to make sure that if that ink happens to bleed through, it doesn't get on my platen. If it gets on my platen, that could infect my next project. So you want to make sure that if you um, or that you always cover it so that you're protecting your press. So we're going to press this at 400 degrees, 60 seconds, starting. Well, I'm going to tighten this up just a little bit. And starting now. Again, I am using a Sawgrass SG500. I also have the SG1000. If you're interested in these printers, I do have them linked in the description below. Uh, Heat Transfer Warehouse has set me up with my own exclusive bundle for these, and it is a really, really good deal. I do know for a fact that they are getting the SG1000s in stock uh, any day now. So they expected them this week. So it'll either be today, tomorrow, or early next week. They should be in stock. They've been really hard to come by. Sublimation is taking off like wildfires, and everybody is after a sublimation printer. The SG1000, <clears throat> excuse me. The SG-1000 is a wide format printer. Um, you, there's also a bypass tray so you can print even larger. So I have the bypass tray, I have the SG-1000, and I also have the SG-500. Both are amazing, amazing sawgrass sublimation printers. This project requires sublimation ink. You can't do this with an inkjet printer. So let's go ahead and remove that butcher paper. And actually the tape has stuck to my or my uh, project. So here it is. 
I am, this is going to be very, very hot. So you want to be very, very careful. You might want to put some gloves on. Yep, I need gloves. Let me put a glove on really, really quick. Thought I could be cute and just pull that off of there, but it is very hot. The good news is this is such thin metal that this will cool down really, really quickly. But let's go ahead and remove our image. So cool. All right, get that tape off my fingers. And let me show you what it looks like. How pretty is that? All right, so I'm gonna let this cool off for just a second. I'm gonna flip the camera around and we'll go ahead and put this on the socket. So here's our little metal piece and this is our socket. So what you do is remove this protective covering. This is sticky. So you're gonna remove that protective covering and you wanna put this on your phone so that it is in the direction you want it. So before I do this, I'm going to kind of figure out where exactly I want it. I'm gonna put it, I'm up. I'm trying to think. I hold my phone on my left more than my right. So I'm gonna put it so that the ring is sideways and on this side. So just like so, more towards the left for me. I'm gonna get that straight and I'm just gonna push it down. We're gonna take this side, release it, and this is where our little disc goes. Just gonna set right inside there. And that looks like it blends right in with my phone case. How cool is that? So this lifts up. All right, so here's our finished project. So you can see the pop sockets like that. So it's flat on your phone. And then when you want the ring out, you just pull it out and it like that. So I really, really like this. This also serves as a kickstand for my phone. If I wanna stand it up like this, it rests on that little ring. So I love it. I think these are so cute. These would make really great gift ideas, stocking stuffers, um, just a lot of fun. You could put your team logo on there, your school logo, your monogram, match your phone case like I did, whatever you like, make it yours. But what a fun gift. These are only about $3 a piece and super, super easy to make. So everything is linked in the description below the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, share. Don't forget to click that bell so that you're notified every time there's a new video. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, never stop making. See ya. Bye-bye.